harsh words to say. You know, he said this is personal between them. Yeah, it is personal. I have some harsh words for Uriah too. I really don't like him. I fight a lot of guys. I say stuff about him. You know, but at the end of the day, it's just business. But yeah, I really don't like Uriah Hall. And uh, we was passing each other on the way. Him leaving work, open workouts, and I was coming. And we had a few words. So yeah, I really don't like the guy. So yeah, you know, this is personal. How did the feud begin? Uh, just him running his mouth, you know, being arrogant, being cocky, you know. I play, I joke around, which other guys in this sport do too. They say what they have to say, but, you know, I feel he's like, uh, he really believes what he say. Kind of cocky, I really don't like that. I had people on Twitter say, hey, you should see the disgust on his face whenever we have to take a picture with him. So, you know, I'm going to do this for the fans too. Talk a little bit about this run that you've been on because you've been pretty much ripping through people for about two years now. Yeah, man, uh, consistency, hard work, you know, so uh, trying to get you guys to pay attention, you know. A lot of media don't pay attention, kind of flying under the radar sometimes, but, you know, uh, I just keep coming out here and impressing, and it's probably I look to do the same thing. Two years is actually a little bit unfair because it's really been four years, I mean, give or take one round in that Romero fight. I mean, ever since you've been in the UFC, you've been basically blasting everybody. Can you talk about the confidence that that gives you going into each fight? Yeah, uh, I feel, honestly... I mean, just 100% honest, for somebody to beat me in a fight, they have to get lucky. You know, I'm, I'm well-rounded, uh, fast, you know, I'm explosive, I work hard. Any middleweight in the UFC beating me, not saying they can't get lucky, but they're going to have to get lucky. Something key you say there is that you're well-rounded. Your opponent doesn't seem to think so. He said all you have is your wrestling. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, you can clearly look at my resume. You know, I got 11 first-round knockouts. I mean, it ain't, that ain't tricking nobody. You know, it is what it is. Do you think as far as, you know, his fighting style is going to mesh well? I mean, styles make fights, so what are you thinking is going to happen Saturday? Night? Yeah, this is supposed to fight. You know, I look for Uriah to come out early and try to get it done, you know. Then after that, he knows it's time to come home to daddy, you know. You know, I spanked that behind for three rounds. So, yeah, he's going to try to come out and get lucky. So, uh, yeah, that's just my job to shut it down, you know. In sports, if a guy's not at somebody else's level, they try to get lucky. And that's all Uriah Hall has to uh, rely on when it comes to Saturday is getting lucky, so. A win Saturday night, where does that take you? Uh, hey, you know, first round finish, you know, hey, the way things going in the middleweight division, I could be next in line for a title shot. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you got guys who he fought. He fought, you know, Whitaker, who was six or seven. You got Musasi, who he beat, who was like eight. You know, if I finish him in the first round, I deserve to be to jump Whitaker and everybody else, you know, and maybe one fight away, so. He's been kind of consistently inconsistent in the UFC. He, he has mo moments of greatness, and then he has – Moments where you're not sure what to expect. How do you prepare for somebody like that who, who doesn't seem to be consistent in his fights? Uh, like I said, Uriah Hall is who he is. He's a lucky guy. You know, he's a, he, he has good stand up. He's tricky. He's fast. He's athletic. And you got a lot of guys that rely on that. And I feel he heavily rely upon his athleticism and his quickness. You know, where I'm a guy who's athletic and quick. You know, but I grind it out with the wrestling, jujitsu. You know, all that. You know, so I work on all my martial arts, to, and that's consistent. You can't just try to get lucky every fight. You know. How close has this been to happening before now? Um, well, I tried to fight Uriah Hall a couple of times, and I got laughed at by the UFC. Uh, and, you know, it, and the, fight, the fight just finally happened. You know, he asked for it, so we got it. Now that this fight's happening, and we know that your wrestling is more superior, are, are you going to go quick to take him down to the ground? I don't know. It depends how he come out, you know. Like I said, this is personal, but at the same time, I'm still a smart educated young man so you know i'm gonna do the right things and make the right decisions um i look for him to come out you know pretty crazy so we'll see where the fight goes and i'll just look to get the finish